Hi everyone, James here, full-time affiliate marketer and YouTuber. I hope you're having a great day and welcome to the channel. And in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Trends to promote max bounty offers. Now, there are three things I will show you today. Number one, I'm gonna show you to find low-cost trending keywords. Number two, I'm gonna show you how to take those keywords and get a ton of targeted traffic. And number three, I'm gonna show you how to take that traffic and convert into sales or commissions. That means by the end of this video, you will discover the very best way to use Google Trends to easily find popular, low cost keywords. You also discover how to take those keywords and set up a marketing funnel that'll make you sales and commissions. Now, many people think that just because a keyword is trending, the cost for that keyword is gonna be high as well. This is not true, guys. Many times when you see a keyword trending on Google Trends, the actual CPC or cost per click for that keyword is still low, usually because people are just not sure or unable to monetize that keyword effectively. This means you as an affiliate marketer have a huge opportunity to take those keywords, those low cost keywords that others are not working with and with a bit of creativity or out of the box thinking, turn them into a funnel that can earn you commissions and sales. And that's what we're gonna be doing today in this video. Also, if you haven't done it yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on other great videos like this one. Now, first, let's take a look at the offers we're gonna be working with. For this method, you're gonna want two offers to promote. Now they can be any offers you want, just so long as one of them is some sort of high value giveaway like this, like a $500 or $1,000 gift card. Uh, this is a good offer guys, it's $2.50 per lead. There is no daily cap, so as many uh, conversions as you want, you can make per day, which is really nice. A lot of times these gift card ones will have a daily cap, this one doesn't. And all the traffic sources are fine for what we're working with today. And the other offer could be anything you want, guys. It does not matter, but the offer will depend, the one you ultimately pick, will depend on the keyword that you're gonna be targeting. And I'll show you how to pick that keyword using Google Trends in a minute. Uh, but a safe bet generally for this type of method is to look for a survey offer or something like this, like a make money online offer. Uh, this is gonna gel really well with how we're gonna be promoting the Amazon gift card. Uh, so for this video, guys, these are the two offers I'm working with. This one right here, this in dollars, uh, inbox dollars, uh, 280 per lead, 35 actions per day, but that's fine. Uh, the majority of this is what we're really focusing on is this gift card here. Okay, so those are the two offers that I'm gonna be promoting. Again, you can pick any two you want, guys. Just try and pick one that's got high value or proceed value, and the second one, some kind of survey offer. And one thing I wanted to say that I almost forgot to mention was for this offer here, like whatever of the high value giveaway you're gonna do, make sure the traffic source allowed is email. Now we're not gonna be using email marketing, but we're gonna be emailing them the link to the offer. So technically that's email traffic. So you have to make sure that allows uh, email marketing or email traffic as one of the traffic sources. Okay, uh, let me quickly go over the traffic source. Uh, for this uh, method, we're gonna be working with Google Ads. Um, you could use Bing or some other paid traffic source, it's up to you. I just prefer to work with Google Ads because I'm comfortable with it and I find I get really good uh, performance or uh, conversions from it. But again, it's up to you. And I'm not gonna go into much detail about the ad itself, but I'm gonna quickly show you how to get it set up. So if you don't have a Google Ads account, you'll just need to go to ads.google.com and open up an account. Okay, so here I am logged into Google Ads account. Um, now the first thing you wanna do, we'll quickly set up the campaign and when we get to the actual keywords part, what we'll do is we'll hop into Google Trends and I'll show you how to actually find the keywords. Uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, create a goal uh, without any goal guidance. Uh, we wanna search traffic because we're gonna be doing a search campaign. And then you're just gonna enter in, you want website visits and we enter in the uh, website. I'm just gonna put in this website here, but you can put in whatever one and I'll show you how we'll set that up in a minute as well. But first let me just put that in there so we can go to the next step. And I just wanna give my campaign a name. So I'm just gonna call this um, trends uh, tut, that's fine. That's the campaign name. Uh, we'll turn off this, turn off this. These are low quality ones, we don't want that. I'm not gonna do anything with that. And for location, what you have to do when you're putting the location, guys, just go back to the offer and see what countries are allowed. So United States, I'm pretty sure they're both United States. Yep, that's what I was working with. And you're just gonna enter in your location there, United States. That's gonna make sure that we're gonna get our targeted traffic that we want uh, from a specific country that's allowed, where it's gonna earn us commissions, language, English, whatever language you're targeting. And we wanna put in our budget here. And for our budget, I'm just gonna put in uh, $20. But again, you can put anything you want. You can put $5, $10, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna make sure it's on clicks because that's what I'm looking for. 
And that is it for here. And we'll go to the next step. I've done a full tutorial on how to set up like Google ads before, and it's actually in my training that I'm going to link down in the description. So if you want to do the training where I actually show how to do Google ads properly and in depth, uh, just click on the link that says free training. And there's a, there's a video that's going to show you how to do everything. Now, because I used a quiz site, it gave me a bunch of keywords. I'm not going to use any of those keywords. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually hop into Google trends. I'm going to show you to find those uh, low cost keywords. I was talking about at the start of the video. Okay. So here we are in Google trends, guys. Uh, if you want to find it, just trends google.com and in here basically what google trends is it just shows you what search terms are trending and what people are looking for so what you want to do is you want to go into the google trends guys and this is there's a ton of information here you can look around here there's there's tons of stuff uh you want to go into more trending searches and you want to take a look and this is what we're going to do guys we're going to start looking at these keywords and what we want to do is we want to start taking these keywords and we're going to start putting them into our keyword search and what you want to look for when you're looking at these uh, trending searches here, first off, you're going to look at the volume. Uh, so that's roughly around 2 million searches. So it's a lot of volume that's going there. But what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to look for names or current events that don't have a lot of commercial appeal. So things that aren't easily easy to sort of monetize. So for example, something like Greta Thun uh, Thunberg. I'm pretty sure that that's going to be a relatively low cost one. Let's take a look here because there's not a lot of e-commerce things around her. So look, a dollar and 54 cents per keyword uh, per click or whatever. That's not as cheap as I want it to be. I know I can find ones that are less expensive than that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna keep looking and you're gonna just keep looking at these words and you're gonna look for low cost ones that are current. And I find ones that are related to people are the, usually the best thing. So celebrities and stuff like that, a lot of times they're gonna be the ones that are gonna be the cheapest or current events, things that are happening. So if you just keep scrolling down, you're looking and if what, for example, a perfect example is you look at this one here. Okay. This is a current event, obviously with the, uh, uh, George Floyd case that just went on and everything. Let's take a look here. So let's see his keyword. Well, his keywords, a dollar 20. Okay. So that's not too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot cheaper. Let's keep scrolling down and see what else we can find here. Okay. And again, let's scroll down here. And we're just gonna take a look, take a look. And I'm just looking for words or names or things that are, okay, of course, here, let's just stick with it here. We'll go with uh, George Floyd as well. And let's take a look and see how much his keyword is. His keyword is 80 cents per click. Again, which is, that is a relatively low cost keyword. Now, the reason why is because how are you gonna monetize it? A lot of people aren't sure how to monetize it, but there are ways you can monetize these current event uh, keywords like that. And one big tip for you guys, when you guys are deciding whether or not a keyword is going to be any good, or you should even bother checking, uh, when you're using Google trends, if you notice that it's like a celebrity who's been around for a while, like for example, the other day I was just doing this and I was looking for keywords and I tried, uh, uh, Sharon Osbourne and her keyword cost per click was like $13. Okay. So usually if it's a really big star or something like that, like I bet you LeBron James is going to be, uh, his cost per click is going to be pretty high. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, see that's $17 per click. So you can usually just discount those. If it's a celebrity that's like really popular or really current, then chances are it's not. What you wanna do is you wanna find someone that's not really a celebrity that's trending. And today I'm gonna to use the keyword George Floyd, uh, simply because the topic is trending and the cost per click is low. Um, now that we have our keyword guys, we decide what we're gonna use as a keyword. The next thing we need to do is to monetize it. And guys, this is where we have to be kind of creative, okay? Because basically a keyword like George Floyd is not easy to monetize. Uh, it's not a buy intent uh, word. It's not a brand name. It's not even a keyword that people associate with uh, e-commerce, uh, guys. And a disclaimer here, guys, uh, this video is about the keyword, okay? It's not about the person or the events that happened or the current uh, social political situation going on. I'm just trying to take an extreme example of a keyword that would be difficult to monetize and just show you how you can do it. Because if you can monetize a keyword like this, other keywords are going to be much easier to work with. Okay. Let's just click on save and continue. And what we're going to do next is we're actually going to go, I'm going to show you what landing page we're going to be working with, because that's going to determine what our actual ad is going to look like. And for the landing page, the easiest way is to set up a quick survey landing page. Uh, for most tricky keywords, guys, and ones that are not easy to monetize, this is going to be the best route. 
And what you wanna do is you wanna take that person or that current topic that people are interested in for that keyword, and you wanna sort of do a survey that's gonna ask them their opinion on it, because people love to give their opinion on current events. Uh, it's very easy to get them to fill out these surveys. So for example, in this one, I'm saying, uh, tell us what your thoughts are on the George Floyd case. Tell us and qualify for a $500 Amazon gift card. And then I just say some text here with the case concluded and the verdict in and just some basic things, just asking them, uh, explaining what it's going to be about. Okay. That's basically what, what the landing page is going to look like. Then when they click on survey, it's got a few basic yes or no questions. Uh, it doesn't really matter what they answer here. We're not really interested in the actual survey itself. Uh, we only want to basically pre-qualify them and make them feel special or make them feel that they've been chosen uh, for the actual uh, offer that we're going to try to promote. So this is basically the survey here, guys. It's really simple. And once they complete it, guys, you see here it goes, great, you complete the survey and now you qualify for the $500 Amazon gift card. We're asking them for their email address. Now, there's two reasons why we do this. Number one, uh, it's always good to collect an email address. Uh, number two, it makes it feel more special and more personalized that you're sending them something. They're not just clicking on this link and they're seeing a link. You're sending it to them. You're going to have better results like that. Okay. And also doing this also allows us to promote two offers with the same, uh, same survey or same funnel. And like I said, it's always good to collect an email address, especially when you're doing affiliate marketing, because it's nice to have that email list that you built slowly over time that you can then go and market to in the future. Uh, there's so much money to be made in email marketing guys. If you're not doing it yet, you should be doing it. Uh, but that's not what this video about is about guys. And we're not actually doing email marketing for this. All that would happen is you'd have an auto, uh, responder or some kind of automation, like from get response or something, or moose send that would simply send them the email address, uh, send them the email with the link to that offer. Uh, personalized. You'd use their name and then just send it to them. And then the last step in this is after they fill it out, James at James something, I don't care. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, they click on, please send me my gift card. They click on it and then they're taken to this page, which is the completion page, the final step. And this is where you're going to promote your survey offer, the secondary offer that we're trying to promote from Max Bounty. Now there's a reason why I went with a survey offer. Number one is they work really well for this method. Number two, uh, someone has just completed a survey that shows to me that they're interested in sharing their opinion and doing surveys to get a $500 gift card. Now they're like, Hey, I get $5 free to get signed up. This is why this works so much well guys, because you have someone that you've already pre-qualified for the previous offer. You've warmed them up and got them interested in it. Now that you're sending them another offer here, which is, Hey, would you like to do this again and make more money? There's a very high chance that the person's going to, uh, they feel that this survey that I just asked them pretty much just for the chance to click through on this offer and, uh, follow through and you're going to earn a commission. And the banner here guys was just the banner from, from here. I just selected one of the basic banners. I think it was from this one here. Yeah, I just, I just downloaded it and I just added it to the website, uh, to my quiz site right here. Now, if you're interested in how to actually build a quiz site, uh, like this here that I, that I created, I actually did a full, uh, video series on it. I'll include a link down below as well, where you can do it. If you're interested in setting up a survey site like this, uh, I go in depth, I show you everything step by step. I think it's like seven videos. So it's a ton of content there if you're interested in that. Okay. So that is the landing page guys. That's what we're going to be working with. Uh, now it's a matter. Let's go back to our Google ads, uh, our Google ad and let's finish that. Let's just finish setting it up and we need to create the actual ad itself. Now, now to save time, I'm just going to pause the video. I'm going to fill this all out and then I'll show you what I did. And this is basically the setup here. So for example, I'm saying George Floyd case study. Uh, what's your opinion on the case? How well do you know the case question? Uh, fill out this survey for a chance at a $500 gift card. Uh, we want to know your opinion on the case. Did George get justice? Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to elicit them to want to give their opinion. So the headlines and everything I'm using are all things that are saying, get paid for your opinion, complete the survey, get $500. It's everything saying, if you give me your opinion on this and fill out the survey, you can get this reward. And for these typical to monetize keywords, this is the best way to monetize them guys. This is the best way to get people to click because you always need to think what are people's intent when they're searching for that keyword, when they're using Google, what is their intent? So for example, someone that's searching for something like George Floyd, their current intent intent is not uh, going out and buying something or spending money. Their current intent is to look for information about a current event. 
So you got to be, you can't just put an offer for like, you know, house insurance or pet food or something like that, or weight loss pills or anything like that. It's simply not going to work because that's not what the person is looking for at that point. They're not interested in that. You're not going to get a good conversion. Uh, there's a very low chance that they're going to click on the ad and you're going to actually make any, com any commissions or anything like that. So you need to think about the keyword and what the person's intent is when you make the ad or pick the offer or figure out how to monetize that keyword. And that's why this method or technique works so well, because you're taking a method or technique and you're using it to monetize a keyword that's very difficult to monetize. Because a person, again, like I said, that's looking for information on a specific thing like the George Floyd case is not looking at that moment to spend any money. But what you can do is you can say, hey, you are interested in this. Maybe you're interested in sharing your opinion and filling out a survey for money. And a lot of people will do that. And at the end of it, what you've done is that now you've pre-qualified that person. You said, hey, that person is the type of person that is interested in filling out surveys for money. So then what you do, you give them that secondary offer of survey for money offer. So filling out surveys to make money because you know this person has a high chance of being interested in that offer and there's a good chance it's going to convert and you're going to make a commission. That's why this works so well. Anyways, guys, with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did like this video, make sure you subscribe and thumbs it up. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you then.